Uh, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau has a full schedule today in New York. This morning, the Prime Minister addressed the U.N. Climate Summit. Trudeau was introduced by the U.N. Secretariat as, quote, one of the largest expanders of fossil fuels last year and asked how Canada plans to take action. Canada will allocate an additional $700 million in special drawing rights, valued at $1.3 billion, to the Poverty Reduction and Growth Trust, building on our leadership within the G7, representing around 48% of Canada's share, more than any other country. We're delivering real support to countries who are both the most vulnerable to the effects of climate change and the most in need of financing to respond to this crisis. Now, for more on this, CTV Washington's Bureau Chief Joy Malbin is following today's event at the UN General Assembly and has more from New York. Uh, good afternoon, Joy. So, uh, how was that UN Climate Summit? It seems like Canada a little bit under fire there, as, one of, as they said, one of the expanders of largest expanders of fossil fuels uh, in the world. I think every nation is under fire when it comes to the climate crisis. I, I mean, this is a, a world where the planet is essentially burning up. Uh, we've seen those horrible droughts, uh, the wildfires in Canada, and of course, uh, the, the flooding in Libya that was just absolutely extraordinary. Uh, today was about climate change. Uh, the Secretary General, Antonio Gutierrez, said, look, whoever's speaking today, unless you've got a real commitment, unless you're really going to, you know, step up uh, to the plate, then we don't want you to speak. He, he was that bold about uh, all of it. Mm. Uh, the U.S. President, Joe Biden, he skipped that meeting, um, instead leaving his uh, climate czar, John Kerry, uh, to speak. But I must tell you, a lot of this, uh, you know, is going on. But at the same time, you've got, uh, you've got Ukraine Ukrainian President Zelensky, and he is like a one-man salesman, uh, you know, talking to just about anybody out there, uh, and addressing the Security Council this afternoon, uh, where he made a bold proposal. He said, look, I really think the UN, the United Nations, has let us down. You're supposed to protect nations. There are rules in place. Uh, we should not have been invaded by the Russian aggressor, as he put it. And, and he suggested some, a proposal that the UN actually strip Russia of its veto power. That's never been done before. And uh, it was quite a shocking proposal. But he went on to actually push his 10-point peace plan, uh, which would include all sorts of things from uh, reparations uh, from the Russians uh, for the cities that have been destroyed, a special tribunal to investigate war crimes. And um, this peace plan would also include Russia uh, leaving all occupied territory, including Crimea. Now, as you would expect, the Kremlin has rejected uh, such a peace plan. And, of course, uh, uh, Zelensky is going to be making his way to Canada in, in the next couple of days. Uh, what was the response to that, to that, basically, that unprecedented plea to the UN from uh, Volodymyr Zelensky. What was the reaction from other countries? Well, uh, you know what? Um, I don't know that there will actually be a vote on that proposal, but certainly France and other countries that were at the Security Council today, uh, they were very receptive uh, to the fact that uh, Russia is the aggressor in all of this, this invasion. And they were very receptive to the idea that this war has to stop, but nobody seems to have the solutions at hand. Um, the, uh, the Russian foreign minister was not in the room. Sergei Lavrov spoke later, and he went on a long history lesson of, of imperial colonialism, blaming the West and NATO for these global conflicts out there, and, and uh, you know, essentially dismissing the whole idea that veto power should be stripped from Russia. And real quick, just uh, obviously let's go back to Trudeau quickly. Uh, this all happening as Canadian-India relations kind of shaky right now. I, is that hanging over here? Is anyone asking or, or talking about that at all? Blockbuster news the other day. Right. I, I mean, look, uh, let, let's be honest here. The relationship between uh, India and, and Canada uh, has been tense uh, already, and now this. And we understand there's this travel advisory uh, to, mm -hmm. to Indians not to travel to Canada or be wary, uh, be, be careful. Um, uh, you know, um, where that lands, <laughs> anybody knows. All right, Joy Melbourne, boots on the ground here at the UN Summit. We do appreciate that. Thanks for joining us. Thanks.